His VP, his son Hunter, was making shady deals with China. It's all about to be exposed in a bombshell new documentary. The man behind it all, Peter Schweitzer, joins me next. The Biden family has a series of lucrative deals with the Chinese government. Joe Biden was steering U.S. foreign policy towards China. Joe and Hunter Biden's secret Chinese business dealings exposed in a new documentary. It's a deep dive into the shady dealings Hunter was involved in while his father was VP and steering U.S.-China policy. That brings us back to 2013, when Joe Biden arrived in Beijing with a full agenda. Hunter Biden was also on board. He joined his father the next morning for a meeting with the U.S.-China Business Council. And then Joe Biden was off to a meeting with Vice President Lee. Just where Hunter Biden spent the rest of his time on the trip remains largely a mystery. One of the biggest bombshells involves one of Hunter's partners trying to steal U.S. secrets and Hunter himself bypassing laws that benefited the Chinese military. Joining me now with an inside look at Riding the Dragon, uncovering the Biden's Chinese secrets, Peter Schweitzer. All right, Peter, um, this is based on corporate records, financial documents, legal briefings and court papers. This is not conjecture. This is what you found and you can substantiate. What are the main headlines from your research that you can see in this documentary? Well, the main headlines, Jesse, are this, um, that the Bidens made a lot of money uh, courtesy of the Chinese government. We're not talking about Chinese businesses, the Chinese government. Uh, this happened while Joe Biden was the point person on Obama administration policy towards China. Uh, but this is not just rank and file corruption that we've gotten used to. This is not the Chinese takeout version of typical corruption, because in addition to the Bidens making money, Jesse, what happened is Hunter Biden and entered into a business partnership. He was on the board of directors of a Chinese investment firm called BHR that was funded by the Chinese government. And what did they do? They started acquiring companies that were beneficial to the Chinese military. They were an anchor investor in something called China General Nuclear, which ended up being charged by our FBI for stealing nuclear secrets in the United States. They ended up buying part of an American uh, dual-use technology company, meaning it produces technology that has civilian and military application. They ended up buying that for the benefit of the Chinese military. So this is not a corruption case of, let's say, victimless crime, where it's just some politician's kid getting rich. This has very real national security implications, and the Bidens were prepared and willing to make money even if it's damaged our military posture vis-a-vis -vis the Chinese, who are our chief rivals on the global stage. That sounds worse than Ukraine, because Ukraine it is it's much worse than Ukraine. Military secrets being transferred and stolen.